Hello everybody and welcome to Gus's x -ray. Today I'm going to show you how to use your PS3 controller with your Nexus player coming up after the introduction. Alright, so first we'll need a PS3 controller and the cable that's come with it. Also, we need a USB hub. It's got a USB to multiple USBs. And then we need an adapter to convert it to a mini USB. I'm going to use this on my Nexus player and then attach my keyboard and mouse. I have this uh, media uh, keyboard. It's a Microsoft keyboard for typing our information and navigating as well. We need to plug in our uh, controller. All right, now we need to look in the Google Play about six axis controller. Click in there. And click on the green button. Let's choose your Asus transformer pad and click on OK. If you're wondering what I did now, I have a video in the description showing you how to sideload every paid app and free app so watch that before you continue uh, also here is the 6x6 controller app let's configure it and let me show you how to do it first click on yes and it will uh, give us choice to uh, choose which kind of keyboard we'll choose 6x6 controller keyboard if we, it doesn't show for any re some reason uh, there is uh, the menu uh, keyboard in the settings. It's the same method. Just go in there and look for 6 axis controller. All right, anyway, let's go back. And let's configure this bad boy. All right, we need to plug in the USB cable to the controller. And then click on start. Yes. And grant privilege with the roots. Awesome. Now let's uh, click on the power button. It should uh, show you a number one. And it will be able to control the menu, but don't click on anything yet. Okay, let's pair the device so we can use it with Bluetooth and say okay. It's just asking us about if we want to use this device, just say okay. All right, we're connected. Okay, let's uh, stop this application. And unplug the cable. And let's start the server and press the power button once it's ready. Now we're connected. Congratulations. Now everything seems to be fine. Let's uh, verify that we have 6x6 controller and the IME and configure the controller to act like an Android controller. Click on game settings and enable. One more option that I like to do is go back to preferences and then mouse emulator and trigger uh, will be the power button so we can control the mouse now with our controller, which is really cool. Anyway, let's give it a try and see how it's going to work. Now let's start with this uh, awesome game. Should give it a try. The controller seems to be working perfectly. There's no lag or anything. You know, PS3 controller is the best controller ever made. It's rechargeable, so you don't have to use batteries. Uh, the Bluetooth works perfectly. All right, 
let's try another game. Hope you guys like this video and if you find this helpful, please subscribe and take care.